All right, so here he is, the ubiquitous Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, the building's still packed to the mouth. Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Welterweight Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights, knocking out Paul Daly, knocking out Marius Zoromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC and getting wins over BJ Penn, fighting George St. Pierre, and then also sharing the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fights for Nick Diaz because he was such a star and such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. Jersey to the surprise of some, but fighting out of Brasilia, Brazil, here is the perennial welterweight contender, Vicente Luque. Some might call his style meat and potatoes, but it's filet mignon and the best potatoes you've ever had because this guy can strike, he can grapple. Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt hasn't always leaned on that in the octagon, has been a knockout artist at times, but you know when the welterweight contender, Vicente Luque, shows up in your bracket, you are in for a fight and potentially a brutal night, and that is a fact of which his opposition tonight is acutely aware. There he is, the silent assassin, Vicente Luque, once again ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Nick Diaz! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke Referee Herb Ready Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Good. All right, the not-so-silent assassin, Vicente Luque, back under the lights as this round gets underway. He has been on the cusp of contention before, nearly secured a title fight, but ran into Baral Muhammad back in 2022. And now the focus on the Luque side for Daniel Evangelista and everybody else. Get back on the horse, prove that you're still a top five guy, and they believe the knockout's gonna materialize tonight, they just can't force it. On point with that jab today. Early round action here, Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer, beautifully timed and placed there, and a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands the big knees from his hook. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Close guard now. Midway through round one. He passed the half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Grounded him. 
and pounding him. Nice shot. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is a terrible position. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I love all the grappling that was on display there, but... Oh, what a connection by him there. This opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test element. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. 30 seconds. Oh, nice Lands a nice jab there. Pass, pass. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands a hook. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Luque. Now he's going full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. The ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Just over two minutes to go in round two. He's got to be careful here. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, Diaz is right back to the full mount. Let's go. I need you to posture and bomb on him. 
seconds winding down in round two. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, a big left hand! He's got to try to finish here. Big right hand. Lands a good combination. Oh, a nice straight there by Luque. Oh, collar tag. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Vicente Luque gets the double leg takedown. Making all these shots count. Luque's pass is denied. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Luque's in half court. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Let his opponent stand up here. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Diaz. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Luque. One minute to go in the round. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the point. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. That's three rounds in the can. We're right. headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. 
Round number four is the one that really does test the fighters. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Diaz. If this guy doesn't move his head, this guy Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Great job moving into his opponent. Oh, there it is! Oh, my goodness! With a huge win tonight! Oh, oh my goodness. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of round number 4. We're playing the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Nick Dean. So congratulations to Nick Diaz. Just great to see one of the most popular and polarizing fighters on the roster. But get back inside.